All right, all you King James folks, I know that you've been waiting on me to do some King James reviews. Here's one for you. This is the uh, Cambridge Cameo. This is the King James. You can see it's the older style box. And uh, this one was actually pre-2000s. Uh, uh, this was sent to me from a good friend of mine. Uh, he had it, and uh, he didn't really use it much, and he thought I might either be able to give it away to somebody or... I'd like to review it, but this box is just awesome. It comes with this little slip case inside the slip case. And uh, anyhow, you can see there's the uh, King James Version Cameo Reference Bible. Red letter. In the back, it does have a concordance and a Bible dictionary. And uh, you see cross references. This is the calfskin leather. And it has the gold gilt edges India paper. The presentation page I will not be showing. Uh, but you can see the identification number there, the RCD257 black. So, and this is printed and bound in Great Britain. I will show you that as well. So here is our calfskin cameo. Uh, not super impressed with, uh, with Cambridge editions. Uh, this cover, not super impressive. Uh, the uh, calfskin feels more like a, French Morocco uh, leather. Uh, you can see the stamping is kind of blurred and smeared, not very crisp, especially the uh, crest there for the King James. Um, you can see it just it's just not as not as much attention to detail there. Uh, it does have a nice grain, but it's not as soft as some other calfskin editions. And it does say calfskin on the interior. Of the cover, you can barely, barely make it out. There, the gold is so smeared, just from I don't know what causes that, uh, but it's not very well done. Uh, it has the paste down liner. It's not edge lined, but this edition does come in an edge lined goat skin, and uh, uh, but this is not the one. This is not the the one that you would be looking for. This one only has one ribbon marker. Uh, you see the red and gold uh, head and tail bands. It does have a presentation page, but I will not show that. It has some writing in it from the previous owner. Also will not show that. And uh, But I will show the title page here. You see the cameo on India paper. Aside from the cover, this is great. Uh, this cover uh, is, is very underwhelming, but the block is great. You see it's a pronouncing text. And then on the publication page, you can see it's an eight-point font, eight typeset, and it's the Clarendon font. And it's printed and bound in the United Kingdom. And uh, here is the, uh, the letter to uh, the epistle dedicatory. And then you have the contents. Sorry. All right. Now, here's the text. The text is, of course, a verse-by-verse -verse layout, double column, center column references. It's an eight-point font, and it's really, I like it. I like it a lot. Eight-point font, very, very readable. You have marginal room at the bottom, a smidge of marginal room on the side, and, uh, and you have your center column references, which are very small. They're maybe a six-point font, uh, but it's still really readable, okay? Now, one thing that I have an issue with, with a lot of Cambridge editions, uh, the, um, the page, I guess, um, what am I, the text alignment, let's call it that. The text alignment is, is not as consistent. It's probably better now than it has ever been, but like it, you can see the line for the center column references there. You see how it's misaligned on the next page. And the text is misaligned so that the next page, the text has been moved over. Now, it, it does well for a, a while. And then you'll get a few signatures in, and it'll be a little different. Uh, you see how that center column reference line is, is out of line there? Uh, so it's, it's not, the alignment's not great. The text does run into the gutter a little bit. Um, you have a little, a little more marginal room on the outer 
edge than you do the in in the gutter i'd almost rather that be swapped i'd rather it be closer on the outer edge and have more room in the gutter but anyway aside from that the 8 point font is really a bolder font and it's very readable uh, it's a compact size edition that Cameo is, and uh, this one's a little thick. It's like a little more than an inch thick, so it's it's a little chunky, small compact edition, but very, very readable. Aside from the text alignment issue, uh, it's great. I mean, that's just a nitpicky thing. Most people probably wouldn't even see that or recognize that unless you were, uh, unless you looked at a lot of Bibles like I do. Uh, but it is an easy reader. I mean, really it is. Um, I love the King James. I really do. And uh, and it's fun to read. And having an edition that is small and portable uh, makes it more likely that I would take it somewhere and read it. You know, this is a red letter edition. One thing about the, uh, the Cambridge editions, um, it's kind of hit or miss on how good the red letter is. All right, so this is excellent, okay? This red is like a dark crimson red. It has a really good balance with the black, very readable, it's not pink, uh, but I have had some editions where uh, the red is inconsistent. It'll be darker on this page and lighter on another page and darker again, but in this edition, you can see it stays a consistent dark red throughout uh, and it looks really great. I mean, it's really, really readable. Probably one of my favorite red letters from uh, Cambridge. So, all right, so let's look at the back. You get to the back and it has, uh, first thing it has is a concordance. Hang on, get you there. All right, you get it done with Revelation and you come to your concordance to the Old and New Testament. All right, the concordance is old school like it's an old school font really light printing honestly very hard to use i mean perfectly honest if they had kept this bold the bold uh font now i'm sure it would have been smaller being a concordance but it seems like just the first letter uh, just the a's in the a section is bold uh, the rest of it is a lot harder to read if you're used to reading this and then you flip back to your concordance. You're gonna you're gonna have to adjust. I know it's smaller text, but it's smaller and lighter, and uh, and it's just not as not as easy to use. All right, so you get past your concordance. Um, it's not a huge concordance. Definitely helpful though if you're used to using a concordance. I prefer to have the dictionary concordance combination where uh, you don't have to go through multiple resources. You can see the definition and where it's located in the text. Uh, but in this Cambridge edition, they have those separated, which there's purpose in that too. If, if you just need the definition, uh, you can go there as well. But being that there's only one ribbon in this edition, the, the, the newer editions have two ribbons, so you can have one in the uh, concordance dictionary sections and one in the text, so it makes it easier to use those resources. All right, so here's the Bible dictionary. It is much easier to use. You can tell it is not as antiquated of a font. It's it's more consistently dark printing. It's easier to read. Uh, so when you're comparing the concordance with the uh, Bible dictionary, it's just, to me, it's much better, much, much better. Uh, so you have your dictionary, uh, along with some places uh, marked in the text where you can find it. So it's almost like a, a semi-concordance uh, in the dictionary. So it's, it's pretty helpful. All right, so we get through the Bible dictionary. And it's pretty big, too. And we'll get to our map index. And they have, I love, one thing I love is these uh, Cambridge maps. The Cambridge maps are so good, and they're on Bible paper, and I'll show you that in just a second. So you get through the Bible dictionary, you get your list of maps, and it's 15 maps, and your map index, and the, the maps are on this cardstock. They're not Bible paper, but it's it's like a matte cardstock, so it's much more comfortable in the hand, not as stiff, uh, and the maps are 
the uh, old school maps that, that you've probably always had in your Cambridge editions. Uh, so, anyway, and it's 15 of them, and they're all great maps. Uh, like this edition's like new, and it's great. Uh, I love that they're on that that uh, matte cardstock or even thick Bible paper. I'm not really sure what it would be considered. Uh, it just feels better in the hand, looks better to me, and they they stay uh, they stay looking better over time. All right, here is the again the item number the RCD two five seven, and I guess that's some identification numbers for this specific block or Bible itself. And then here's your back liner and uh, back end sheet and uh, the back of this cover. Okay, again, it, the cover is a little bit of a letdown with regard to it being um, a calf skin, but these older Cambridge editions are very popular and uh, and that's that's not accidental. So these these editions do last. Uh, if they weren't be they wouldn't be as popular if they if they didn't last. So um, even though it's not quite as beautiful with this, you have your smearing in the gold and uh, or the blurring in the gold. Uh, it's just a few little uh, nitpicky critiques I would have. Uh, other than that, it's it's a really nice Bible. I do wish it was a edge line edition, but uh, it's still really nice. And if you ever had to swap covers uh, it'd be a great block to use so anyway that's the uh that's the review for the cambridge king james cameo reference bible in calfskin and again this is the older edition uh the newer calfskin editions are I believe have two ribbons and they're going to be a little different type texture of calfskin uh so i'll post a link in the description uh you can check it out uh, check out whatever they have available at least and uh, see if if uh, it might be something you'd be interested in. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and uh, click the notifications bell so you can get notified whenever I upload new videos and content. And again, thanks for watching. God bless.